The Winter Olympics officially began in 1924, although the earliest winter sports that we think of um, have an earlier history in the Olympic Games, going back to figure skating in the 1908 Olympics and ice hockey in the 1920 Olympics, although these took part in what we would now consider the Summer Olympic Games. In 1924, Paris was organizing the Summer Olympics, and the organizers thought they wanted to get a little bit of practice, and so earlier in the year, they organized a one-week-long international sports week that was all about winter sports, and they did that in the French Alpine village of Chamonix. Retroactively, the International Olympic Committee decided to call this the first Winter Olympic Games, and then afterwards, they decided to organize the Winter Olympic Games in the same year as the Summer Olympics up until the 1990s when they officially decided um, decided in the late 80s that in the 1990s that they would break the Winter Olympics and move them to two years off from the Summer Games. The Winter Olympics are a mega event and they are quite important. Although not as large as the Summer Olympic Games, they have still grown in size. Britain, although not very cold and snowy, aside from maybe a little bit of time in Scotland, um, has actually had quite a long history of success at the Winter Olympic Games. Um, as pioneers of many of the competitive aspects of sports that we see contested at the Winter Games, Britain's history going back of winning Olympic medals um, has many figure skaters and bobsled athletes and skeleton athletes up through most recently including Lizzie Arnold winning the skeleton gold medal in Sochi in 2014 who will be attempting to repeat her victory in the coming weeks. <laughs>